Hi, in this video we will be setting up, configuring and testing the Centrify plugin for Java application servers. This plugin provides um, basically in Windows integrated authentication via uh, SPNego or GSS API um, that enables um, Active Directory users to get um, single sign-on and authorization leveraging AD assets. So the first thing we need to do is gather some information. So we need to know uh, what version of Java we're running. We also need to know what version of Tomcat, on top, Tomcat is being run here. We're going to use Tomcat. So it will be, um, you know, the ZDU RPM or YUM uh, list install and then the Tomcat. So this will actually tell us which version of Tomcat we have installed in this system. Um, and in addition, we need to know, uh, it, it seems that we're running Tomcat 6. We also need to know what version of Centrify um, we're running, and it's 5.2, and if the HTTP service principal names have been registered. So I guess all that stuff has been done. The next is to find out uh, what OS I'm running. So you name minus A, and this is a 64-bit Linux and it's a CentOS. So all I need to do is download the pro download the proper J2EE application front plugin from the Centrify Download Center, and I have it right here. All I need to do is download it. I already have copied it um, over here to my server, so I want to do a, a secure copy. Um, and um, pretty much now, when I have the file. Um, all I need to do is unpack it. DZ do uh, tar. Uh, this is going to basically uh, give the manual, uh, the release notes, and, and the RPM. And from there, all I need to do is uh, either a yum or an RPM install. So I'm going to do DZ do yum install, and it will be Centrify DC. And that's it. It should. Uh, basically install and now I have the package installed. At this point I should be ready to configure the sample application and start my testing. Also I want to make sure that I have the ability to access my Tomcat server um, and uh, I believe that it's CentOS 1 in this here in, in this particular example and it would be dot uh, corp uh, and 8080 is the default port and there you have it. We have connectivity, and um, we should also verify that from a um, from a browser perspective that everything is set up. So, uh, next video we're going to do set, set up and configure and test the sample application.